القرآن قلنا يعلم يعلم من في السماوات والأرض الغيب إلا قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد Anyone who claims to know the unseen, whether it is the present unseen or the future unseen, by any means, this person is a kahin, is a fortune teller and a sorcerer. They write things in numerical codes. And then they look in the stars. And Ibn Abbas mentioned about this and the people who do this. I do not believe that they have in the hereafter any share. They are from Ashabul Jahim, from the people of the burning hellfire. Generally, if nightmares are varied and infrequent, we're less worried about them. If they're very frequent and they repeat over and over again, or if they have particular themes which indicate magic or jinn possession, you know, you see yourself being attacked in the dream all the time. Are they upon the Qur'an and the Sunnah? Do they call to the Sunnah or do they go to the masjid where people are a bit, you know, 50-50 on the Sunnah, you know? The Prophet ﷺ said, and the one who goes to the soothsayer, and the one who believes the soothsayer or listens to the soothsayer, فَقَدْ كَفَرَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَى مُحَمَّدْ صلى الله عليه وسلم. He has disbelieved in what was sent down to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, your destiny is written in the Lawh al-Mahfuz, above the seven heavens. It's not written on your hand. It's not written on your palm. It's not written in crystal balls. And it's not written in horoscopes in newspapers. Your destiny is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no harm in doing ruqya because many of these cases, I'm not going to say all because that knowledge is with Allah Isa, which I'm not going to say every case, but many of those cases are because of wiswas. Protection is about them keeping away from the haram in all of the things that they do, getting near to Allah, having the right attitude, performing their prayers, seeing their remembrances in the morning and the evening and the way that you keep them safe from things that would harm them in their religion. Whoever hangs a tamima, tamima is an Arabic word for ta'weez, whoever hangs a tamima has committed shirk and has made a partner with Allah. And in another narration that Whoever hangs a tamima or ties a tamima around them, فَلَا أَتَمَّ اللَّهُ له. May Allah not complete his aim or his intention. So the Prophet ﷺ is making dua that the ta'weez will never work. At the end of the day, we have to understand anything written in numbers, written in symbols, written in scribbles, anything which you can't read, anything with magicians, Seals, boxes, circles, triangles, stars, moons, pictures of the shaitan, iblis written all over it. At the end of the day, all of this is disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of this is haram. For a person to go to an amil, to a mulvi, a maulana, a sheikh, an imam, to get some of these writings, these symbols, these actions done, to perform a so-called sacrifice in charity or something like that. This is a danger to your Iman. This is a danger to your Islam. In other words, what I'm asking you to do if you're suffering from this problem is I'm asking you to presume it is a medical problem and to presume that it is a jinn related problem and to deal with the two at the same time. 
Likewise, we can add a third issue in there. What about if this is a test from Allah? Your rizq is not in the hands of a magician. Your rizq is in the hands of Ar-Razaq subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ruqya is most effective when you combine reading of the Qur'an and you combine fi'lul asbab, doing the causes to bring yourself success. Uh, but the interesting thing about numerology is that many words add up to the same number. I have no doubt that 786 in some way or another adds up to a word of shirk, a word of making a partner with Allah. And this Quran can benefit all of mankind. However, the benefit for the believers is no doubt greater and more emphasized than the benefit for others. We're going to be looking through some clips of a magician's library, the hand of Fatima, the person caught doing a demonstration of what they would do to worship the shaitan. Various magical uh, symbols, again, you see this middle finger is often colored or is often, the tip of it is often colored. This heart with pins, possibly to seek revenge against someone who had harmed a person. This is a wax figure with three pins in, uh, something related to uh, a medical condition or something like that. Protective amulet, a protective uh, charm, love charm that is in the top corner. You can see that it's based around astrological signs. This bird has uh, magic taped into its uh, or sewn into its wing and that it's not the Quran. It's not Surah Yasin. It's not Ayat al-Kursi. It's not Surah Al-Fatiha. But it is in fact the worship of the devil. It is that simple.